Welcome back everyone, Jack with Crichton Chronicles, and I'm here with technically a second attempt of unboxing Canvas. Um, I have the cellophane here just to prove that I just undone it, uh, unboxed it. So I got part way through the video and it went south fast because of the autofocus with my new Brio camera logitech cam and so yeah i've got it set to a focus that i'm hoping will be good at this angle <laughs> and i'm just gonna run with it there and hope for the best so uh this is like the first unboxing i've done so it's rightly so it went south but uh in like three years due to the fact that uh kind of started the channel with unboxings and moved on to like movie trailers and i wanted to do all of them but i, I have a habit of we get a lot of games, but I don't open a lot of them. I have Kickstarters and new games that are sealed where you can't see over yonder. And, uh, yeah, for over three years, probably five years, <laughs> for the last five years. So, anyhow, this is uh, Canvas. It's a Kickstarter we backed. Um, I don't know if it was a year or two ago. Maybe it was just last year. I don't quite remember. But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Got it because based on the art, obviously the, the art alone was awesome and it's based on painting and my girlfriend loves to paint so the theme was there and yeah so I'm going to take a look. I have opened it but I haven't got to look through everything because of the focus stuff so uh, what's kind of neat about the box is they made it where you could hang it as a picture if you really wanted to um, so that's kind of cool nice little you know thematic touch so but uh yeah, let's take a look at what's inside. Slides open like such. And, all right, so these are just sleeves uh, to sleeve everything up. And we've got the art cards here. Now we can go through, and I'm hoping that the uh, focus does all right here. <laughs> but they're uh, transparent art cards. And let's see if I'll just take a few. So each one will have a different art depiction on it, and it looks like different elements or palettes that uh, are attributed to it. So there's a good handful of these. And all of them are different. They have different palettes and, and elements and whatnot. And they each have different names, innocent, mess so what eventually happens here is let me take a sleeve I haven't played the game yet obviously I just opened it partially because they have a new Kickstarter up and it is the I think it's called reflections but it's the expansion and I was figuring we better open this and try it out because we're more than likely going to back it if we like it so you'll eventually start forming actually come to think of it these are the art cards i should go through these here are some background cards and so it's just a nice array of different backgrounds so i'm assuming these are what all will be sleeved up like i said i haven't played it but so you'll have the background and then you'll slide in each transparent card and they'll make up their own uh, painting and you can mix and match and so for example this would be an innocent mess would be the title of that painting and so on and so forth and these are trying to fulfill different objectives that come up on the game uh, I think there's, I don't know if they alternate or what, but I think there's like four, four or five that come out. So this might be an objective emphasis, exactly one of whatever. The backs have clarification, score emphasis. If this painting has exactly one, whatever that is, <laughs> do not score if it has two or more of that. So, yeah. Oh, it's an element. So, so you don't want exactly one element of that kind. So that's one of the elements. So... But yeah, so you have different objectives and that's what you'll be going for when you're making your painting and 
throughout the game you'll potentially just completely replace different elements and such whatever you need so I don't know if you take out some or not or what but I'm assuming you're gonna have to so maybe if they do du double up you'll take it out and just replace it like I said never played it but I thought the concept was really cool so innocent moment now is what the title of that would be uh, these do have a film on them but I am probably going to leave the film on because that's just how I am I'm kind of weird that way so but yeah so those are so we got all these art cards again background cards and then you have all of these different objective cards So yeah, nice variety there. Should help with uh, replayability. Plus, this was kind of crazy. I didn't know there was so many art cards. So, but, or maybe it just seems like more. It says there's 60 transparent cards. So I guess it just looked like more. I thought this was more up to like 100 or something. But yeah, so you can kind of see all the different kinds of art and the different palettes and elements that are associated with the paintings and so yeah I don't know it seemed really interesting I really like the art and uh, let's see beyond that we've got playmat which we can roll out and then the rule book we can look at real quick here Okay, seems nice, big lettering and everything, pictures to kind of explain everything, seems very simple too, so that's really nice, so I like the, uh, like the instruction book, so that's good, and then we have the ribbons, which as you, I'm assuming, as you meet goals or whatnot, you'll get ribbons. And that's pretty much, I think, what you're trying to score, maybe. And then these palette tokens. Yeah, it's better. It's got the coloring on it. And I will uh, do the mat here. I haven't seen the mat, I don't think. Here, so Let's see. And there's the mat. So yeah, it's not the best, just a little cloth, but not too bad. Looks like you put the deck here, and yep. So these are what will be coming out here. You know, they you slide them out. So you got your objectives up here. So yeah, whenever you meet these objectives, that's where you'll be getting the ribbons and stuff, is what I'm assuming. Again, I haven't played it. Hopefully this weekend I'll get to try it out. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty much everything that comes with this. Uh, I don't have a lot of room apparently, I don't know I should. And uh, now the other thing, we got the Deluxe. So we got the Deluxe Kickstarter and that came with a bunch of upgraded components. So, so yeah, you'll... You'll have like little wooden easels and you can uh, put your art on 
and and a bunch of wooden ribbons and uh, palette tokens. So, and they're really good quality wood pieces. So that's pretty exciting. I'm assuming it will all fit in the box. Probably not with the cardboard counterparts, but I don't know. I'll have to see. It's a kind of a small box. So, but I'm more worried about fitting the easels in there, but it's kind of a nice touch and I thought it was worthwhile to get the deluxe edition to, to get these upgraded components. So, so yeah, you got 60 some odd art cards, the sleeves, or sleeve everything up, some background cards, and objective cards, and then a bunch of uh, tokens. Now, again, this is deluxe, so without that, you'll be getting these for just a standard retail, just the uh, cardboard cutouts. But yeah, I don't know, even these seem pretty good, thick, so yeah. So. There you have it. That is the components for Canvas. And uh, yeah, hopefully you get to try it out this weekend. If we like it, I'm assuming we're, well, even if we don't, we might do the Kickstarter uh, reflections for the expansion um, just because we like the concept and the themes and everything. So yeah, hopefully it's a good game. <laughs> but uh, even if not, might delve into it just like we did you know, with this and just play by ear. But now that I've got it open, hopefully uh, we'll give it a shot because the Kickstarter is only up for the expansion for another three or four days. So, but anyway, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Sorry, it's a little mess. And technically it looked like more like what's in the box than unboxing. But yeah, had some issues with autofocus again, but this seemed to work out pretty decent with just getting it set into one focus and not relying on autofocus. So I will try to do that in further videos for the board games I do so but yeah thanks again for stopping by if you've played um, if you've played this um, canvas uh, let me know what your thoughts are on it would you recommend it uh, what do you like about it what you don't like about it are you gonna back the expansion on Kickstarter going on right now or already have you already so just kind of curious what people think of this game and uh, yeah so until next time take care